had a bit of a blip, had a little bit of a disaster. See? Ta -da! Look at that! <laughs> what do we think, Axel? Hello! So, this is part two of the DIY craft table video. So, last week you will have seen my IKEA vlog. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I've never vlogged in public before, I've done anything like that. So, it was nerve wracking but quite exciting at the same time. So, You've seen what I bought, you've seen what the room looks like now, and this is the beginning of the table build. So I hope you enjoy it, and we'll crack on. Good morning, today is the day. So, it is currently half 10. I've had a bit of a slow start around here this morning. It's, in, um, it's like the 29th of December today, so it's in between Christmas and New Year, and it is very, very slow in my brain at the moment. I'm trying to take some time off, but I'm clearly not really doing that. But this is today's video. So what you're currently standing on is one of the Billy units. So before I show you my DIY craft table, I've quickly got to build this unit. If you can see on here, all of my desk is full of all of the supplies that was on my previous unit, which I'd completely just overflown and grown out of. So let me build this. I'll probably do a few little cool little time lapses and then I'll show you how I build my DIY craft table. half one it has taken me what half ten half eleven half twelve three hours to do this i can't believe it's taken me that long but i've got the billy unit built it is not organized in the slightest i've just shoved things in there because i want to do like a diy on it i want to get baskets for it so there's kind of like no point me spending all my time organizing it because i'm going to take it all out anyway it was just to get everything off my desk so i'll show you what that looks like now this is what it looks like now like I said, nothing is organised in it. And I can't really carry on with all of this because this is going in the craft desk. Um, and the same for a lot of this stuff as well. I need to move it around. So I'm at a bit of a standstill with this. So now I'm going to move on to building the actual craft desk. So here are the three units. I got two of the eight box Calax units. And then I don't think you can see on here, but this is one of the um, four squares. I'll pop a picture up. But yeah, I'm going to go and build all of these now. It's probably going to take me a little while. and I've just come back from the shops. I managed to get everything that I needed pretty much. So starting off, I got the uh, wrap that's gonna go on the top of the MDF. This is gonna make my tabletop. So I managed to get this. I'll link everything below. But yeah, it's pretty much a similar color to the other desk I've got right here. So I'm quite glad about that. Caster wheels, I managed to get them from screw fix. Now make sure you get swivel ones and at least two with a break because otherwise your table is going to slide everywhere. It was actually cheaper for me to get all of them braked. So I got five. I probably could have done with six, but they didn't have it all six in stock. They only had five. These are 75 mil ones. So they do give a quite a bit of height. I think I might pack them out a bit more because I do want this table to be quite high up. I then got flat brackets. This is how I'm gonna connect all, all of the units together. Originally I was gonna do the scraps of wood, but I actually think I might need them for a different part of the unit. So flat brackets, that's gonna connect them all. This isn't for the unit, this, this isn't for the craft table, this is for the other unit that I built earlier in the video, handles. Now, I didn't wanna put the regular little pulley knobs, they just look crap. So I got these, um, a pack of four, and I'm gonna spray them gold. 
but I'll probably do that in another video. But that's what I got. I'm pretty much all prepped. Now I'm going to move my sofa. Well, I'll try and move my sofa on my own. And then bring all the units in. I think today I'm going to be able to build it all together, put the wheels on, make that all secure. I can do the dowels. The only thing I can't do today is the MDF top because it is like a 10 foot by... 10 foot by maybe four or five foot piece and there's no way it's so heavy it's 10 mil i can't pick that up on my own and i need my dad to cut it anyway so i'm gonna wait to do that that'll probably be tomorrow tomorrow saturday so yes that is it i'm gonna crack on and i'll see you in a bit oh, this is like my favorite throw it's from Danau and it was like 50 pound it was really worth it like look at that like a grizzly bear just will not move off the sofa <laughs> excuse me we've got things to do My floor is actually tiled, it's like wood effect tiles, and they're not dead level, so I'm going to have to pack out the front, because um, so I've got no one here to like hold it together for me, so if I pack out the front, it can keep it really flush and tight, and then I'll put my brackets on. That worked an absolute treat. So they're together now, they're all flush. I think now this unit, if you are building this yourself, is slightly narrower than the whole, um, than the other two together. I think because of these um, feet bits. So I'm gonna just do an equal gap either side. I was gonna, because mate, it's mainly gonna be this side of the wall, so I was gonna do this flush. But I think if it does eventually go in the center of the room, I'd rather it just be equal on both sides. Okay, I've put all the brackets where I want them. I've decided to do it like on the edge of the leg and I haven't done one in the centre because I've got a middle caster to go there so I don't want it to get in the way. So this is what I've got. I'm just going to screw them all down. I think I'm going to do this main unit first and then leave this one till last because I think I'm going to have to level it out a little bit more. This is what I think I'm going to do. So all of the brackets are screwed down now. But these are all scraps I've got. So this isn't coming out of my budget. So, and weirdly, they fit perfectly across. So I haven't, like this was from before. Like I haven't cut these down at all. But I think I'm going to have one here and then my casters either end. And then the same again for over here. Again, weirdly, like the perfect length. So I'm just going to say it's meant to be. So, and then I'm going to have this one in the centre. Now it's not in the not dead center in the unit because obviously i've got this extra bit as well so i think that is going to go there and i'm going to put my caster in the center now this is where i'm a little bit like i'm not sure i think it's not going to be strong enough with just these i feel like it's going to drop when i flip it over so i'm going to cut this down and i think i'm going to have one here and connecting no casters just as like a bit of a support and then obviously the other side there just so like it's another thing holding it together and i feel like that will be okay i've just got to give it a go and see what we think really <laughs> is now 
like a quarter past four. I'm going to try and flip it over um, because Dan's here now to help me. So he's going to help me flip it over and then we're actually going to go and see Avatar 2. So enjoy. <laughs> It has been a few days. I had a bit of a blip, had a little bit of a disaster. Um, I had to fix the table. So where I put the uh, wooden battens and then the wheels, I didn't put enough fixings on. So when we when we locked the wheel, um, and then I stepped away from it, forgot about it, went back to it the next day, and I was like moving. I was like, why is this not moving? Obviously didn't think, like I'm an idiot, I didn't think to check like if the wheels are locked so i like shoved it and then the bottom just went under so if you are doing this don't be afraid to put a load of fixings in because it is fiber board that you're screwing into um lesson learned i won't do that again i'll definitely use more fixings so i've done that now all fixed my dad helped me cut down the mdf top um and i've screwed that on and filled it which um you've already seen so I'm on to the last day of it now, pretty much. I'm going to sand down the edges where we cut it with the jigsaw, because obviously you're freehanding it, so I need to smooth those out. Um, smooth the filler I put on. I'm gonna buff the table to give it a little bit of friction and then put the vinyl on, and we are done. So I just wanna get this table finished so I can start creating more. <laughs> my edges are smoothed down and the top is as well um, all the filler I did so I'm gonna rough it up I could have probably done with 80 grip sandpaper but I don't have any I only have 120 at the moment so I'm gonna rough it up it does I've just watched the video and it does say if you're using untreated MDF then I should really use a primer but I don't have a primer so we're just gonna go for it I think as long as I use a hair if it's any areas that aren't feeling like it's sticking that well I'm gonna just use a hair dryer try and heat up the adhesive and stick it on and when I go around the corners again I'm gonna hair dryer it so yes I'm gonna do that <laughs> I've gone all the way around with the hairdryer and I found it's best if you pull it really tight and then um, almost like run your finger down it when you're using the hairdryer it seems to curve around a lot easier. What I do with the corners it's quite hard to show you with one hand but I'm gonna cut up diagonally like that and then I've been wrapping the one corner round and then I wrap the other edge round as, as well and it looks quite neat and then all i'm going to do then is tuck it under i'm sorry look at that <laughs> I, I had a moment when before i used the hairdryer i'm like oh my god it's not going to stick 
Um, I think we didn't do that bad, actually. There we go. What do we think, Axel? Oh. So here you go, that is the end of the DIY craft table. I hope this video was helpful, um, everything is a learning curve. I've got a favour to ask you though, if you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying my channel so far, make sure you subscribe because the bigger my follower count gets, the um, better my videos get. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next Sunday.